So I'm going to continue from 1st Samuel where the people are asking for a king uh, to, rule, to, to rule over them. They're asking King Samuel for a king. Alright, so... So Samuel's been telling them what kind of king will rule over them. And let's see if they listen. And ye shall carry out and ye shall cry out in, the, in that day because of your king which ye shall have chosen you and the, Lord will, and the Lord will not hear you in that day nevertheless the people refused to obey the voice of Samuel and they said nay but we, but we will have a king over us that we also may be like all the other nations and that, and that our king may judge us and go out before us and fight our battles and Samuel heard all the words of the people and he rehearsed them in the ears of the Lord the Lord said to Samuel, hearken unto their voice and make them a king. And Samuel said unto the men of Israel, go ye every man unto his city. So, disobeying the, disobeying the voice of the Lord, wanting to be like everyone else. So this is Jeremiah 50, 44 and 15. Then all the men which knew that their wives had burned incense unto other gods, and all the women that stood by a great multitude, even all the people that dwelt in the land of Egypt, in Paphros answered Jeremiah, saying, As for the word that thou hast spoken unto us in the name of the Lord, we will not hearken unto thee. But we will certainly do whatsoever thing goeth forth out of our own mouth, to burn incense unto the Queen of Heaven, and to pour out drink offerings unto her, as we have done, we and our fathers and our kings and our princes, in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem. For then had we had plenty of victuals, and were well, and saw no evil. But since we left off to burn incense to the Queen of Heaven, and to pour out drink offerings unto her, we have wanted all things, and by the sword and by the famine. So, burning incense to the Queen of Heaven, Semiramis, and this is this is still going on today. This is still this this idolatry is still going on today. You might have seen Semiramis, Columbia pictures, the 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 woman with the torch. That's modern day. That's, that's, that's carried over. A lot of these gods have been carried over. The Molech in here has been carried over. Molech is the owl, is the owl that you see. Um, Baal, Baal seems to me, because Baal is, is, is uh, continuously mentioned. And Baal is probably like Baal. And uh, the androgynous, it's got like it's half man, half woman. Um, all of the, a lot of these gods, they're the same gods that you that 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 I guess even some of these celebrities are, are worshiping, but in a way, uh, to, to, to get to where some of them have gotten to, they have committed. Uh, obscene um, idolatries. Uh, okay.
This is Hosea 4 and 13. This is concerning Israel. This is concerning the people. They sacrifice upon the top of the mountains and burn incense upon the hills, under oaks and, po and poplars and elms, because the shadow thereof is good. So, let's read that again. They sacrifice upon the top of the mountains and burn incense upon the hills under oaks and poplars and elms because the shadow there because the shadow thereof is good. This is Ezekiel, Ezekiel chapter 8, let's listen to what Ezekiel has to say. And it came to pass in the sixth year, in the sixth month, in the fifth day of the month, as I sat in mine house and the elders of Jude, Judah sat before me, the hand of the Lord God fell there upon me. Then I beheld, and lo, a likeness as the appearance of fire from the appearance of his loins, even downward fire, and from his loins, even upward, as the appearance of brightness, as the colour of amber. And he put forth the form of an hand, and took me by a lock of mine head, and the Spirit lifted me up between the earth and the heaven, and brought me in the visions of God to Jerusalem, to the door of the inner gate that looketh forward towards the north, where was the seat of the image of jealousy, which provoketh to jealousy. And behold, the glory of God of Israel was there, according to the vision that I saw in the, in the plain. Then he said unto me, Son of man, lift up thine eyes now the way toward the north. So I lifted up mine eyes the way toward the north, and behold, northward at the gate of the altar, the image of jealousy in the entry. He said further unto me, Son of man, seest thou what they do, even the great abominations that the house of Israel committeth here, that I should go, that I should go far off from my sanctuary? But turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations. And he brought me to the door of the courts. When I looked, behold, a hole in the wall. Then he said unto me, Son of man, dig now in the wall. And when I had digged into the wall, behold, the door. And he said unto me, Go in, and behold the wicked abominations that they do there. So I went in and I saw, and behold, every form of creeping things and abominable beasts and all the idols of the house of Israel portrayed upon the wall round about. And there stood before them seventy men of the ancients of the Israel, of the ancients of the house of Israel, and in the midst of them stood Jezaniah the son of Shaphanai, Shaphanai, with every man his censer in his hand, and a thick cloud of incense went up. Then he said unto me, Son of man, hast thou seen what the ancients of the house of Israel do in the dark, every man in his chambers of his imagery? For they say, The Lord seeth us not, the Lord hath forsaken the earth. Let's read that again. Then he said unto me, Son of man, hast thou seen what the ancients of the house of Israel do in the dark, every man in the chambers of his imagery? For they say, The Lord seeth us not, the Lord hath forsaken the earth. Verse 13. He said unto me, Turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations than they do. Then he brought me to the door of the gate of the Lord's house, which was towards the north. Behold there, sat a, and behold, there sat a woman weeping for Talmuz. Then he said unto me, Hast thou seen, O son of man? Turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations than these. And then he brought me into the inner court of the Lord's house, and behold, at the door of the temple of the Lord, between the porch and the altar, were about five and twenty men, with their backs towards the temple of the Lord, and their faces towards the east. 
and they worshipped the sun towards the east. Then he said unto me, Hast thou seen this, O son of man? Is it a light? Is it a light thing to the house of Judah that they commit the abominations which they commit here? For they have filled the land with violence and have returned to provoke unto anger. And lo, they put a branch to their nose. Therefore will I also deal in my fury. Mine eye shall not spare, neither will I have pity. And, thou, and though they cry in mine ears and with a loud voice, yet will I not hear them. Genesis 15, 